and this one comes from Greg Lyons. He is also a former fast cat athlete and he's training for Leadville and he lives in Texas and he says, I live at sea level but soon we'll be spending a month up in Colorado at altitude at around 8,500 feet. My question is, what is the best way to stick to a plan in regards to targets based on FTP? My established FTP at sea level, would I just adjust it based on Joe Frill's blog post from 2010 on altitude and performance, which might be outdated, or should I use another method to adjust? Or <laughs> should I do an FTP test once I get to my destination and use that to follow the plan? Yeah, uh, great to hear from you, Greg. And knowing that you're probably up in Winter Park right now, elevation 9,000 feet, and then you're competing in Leadville. So here's the deal. Um, this uh, research was actually done by the late Dr. Ed Burt in Lewis Passfield, uh, and then another researcher, Bassett. And they compared world hour records uh, in 1999, published a paper in the Medicine, Science, and Sports Exercise Journal. And this was in relation to the uh, uh, the Olympics that were held in Mexico at altitude, at, I think it was like 6,700 feet. So there's a lot of uh, uh, research out there, but the, the nuts and the bolts of it is in their study. And then there's also a French physiologist that also uh, backed up their results. It's expect a 1% reduction in your power output for every 1,000 feet that you go up. So 9,000 feet, 9% unfortunately. Now, so for everyone that lives at altitude and they go down to alti go down to sea level, then expect a 1% increase in power output for every 1,000 feet you go down. That's why so many athletes uh, live and train at altitude because mm -hmm. there is a performance benefit when they go to compete at, at sea level. So what I would do, Greg, and this is what I do with, with athletes, you don't need to do a field test or anything like that. I just take the use their work and reduce uh, their, your FTP by 1%. So in your case, I would res reduce your FTP by 9% and just call it good um, at, at altitude. And then your TSSs are accurate and then your, your zone-based training is accurate. Um, watch our video on altitude training uh, benefits for cyclists uh, that Jackson and I recorded. And then we also have a training tip from Coach Jake, the effect of racing at altitude. Yeah, when you go back down to sea level, I've done it. I felt superhuman. It was oh, great. Yeah. You feel like King Kong. It's great. <laughs>